Who killed Jennifer Cook? It's a question Grandview Heights police haven't been able to answer for six years, but now hope a new reward will help solve this cold case. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Mark Taylor. Police are offering a $20,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest in the death of Jennifer. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live outside the police department tonight with what police know and what they need the public's help on tonight. Eric? Well, Mark, one of Jennifer's best friends tells me not a day goes by where she does not think about her. She says she has not given up hope that police will find whoever is responsible and says that this reward and hopes that this reward finally brings some closure to Jennifer's family and friends. I feel that loss every day and I haven't, I, you know, I haven't gotten over it. I don't, I don't know that I ever will. Sitting in the neighborhood where they became so close, Heather Kerr thinks about Jennifer every day. Someone she calls a best friend. I love her. I love her like a sister. I mean, she, she really was like a sister to me. They did yoga together, laughed together, and helped one another's kids as single moms. She was always the first to step in and help a friend, and she didn't even want credit for it or anything. She would just do little things um, to support people. Their relationship grew as they lived across the street from each other for years, what ended up being the last years of Jennifer's life. I want justice. I want justice for her. According to Grandview Heights Police, Jennifer was found dead in her Woodhill Drive apartment more than six years ago on August 11th, 2013. They say she was stabbed multiple times. This case is still very active. It is uh, by no means a cold case to us. We have several investigators still working on it um, and several different agencies. That was police five years ago, one year after Jennifer was found. Now they're saying detectives are still working the case and have made great progress, but they're still asking for the public's help. A $20,000 reward is being offered for info leading to an arrest and conviction, bringing more hope to friends like CARE. We know that somebody knows what happened. Somebody out there did this and took her away. I really want this to be settled, and I want, I want this person to be brought to justice because she deserves that. Her family deserves that. And police are focused on the early morning hours of August 9th, 2013, between midnight and 8 a.m. They want anyone with any information to contact them, even saying the smallest bit of information could prove to be the most useful. Live and local for you in Grandview Heights, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.